Hi folks, this is um, a bit of a different classic for us. This is a iconic British vehicle, the long wheelbase Land Rover, 1983, 110 wheelbase um, Defender. This one's been um, a car that we've sold to a customer. And bearing in mind we were selling it as a class, classic car. He's uh, adapted it for his business, which you can probably guess what it is by the sign writing. Uh, and he's decided to move on to a newer vehicle. So he spent a lot of money on this car, getting it uh, ready to use for his business. And well, I must admit, it does look great. Uh, he gets lots of compliments about how good a condition this car is. Now, if we look at the front, we've got some LED lights, which I understand are being left on the car. We've got headland protectors, we've got a ball bar, we've got what looks like a steering rack guard down there. We've got uh, some U-bolts to um, for towing. Uh, we've got a snorkel kit. This one's actually connected, not just there to make the driver look macho. Uh, we have uprated suspension. We've got big wheels, and actually those wheels have been powder coated back to the more original Land Rover colour. Excellent bodywork, really. I mean, bright and shiny, not beaten to death. But you know, just a, a, a few mild beatings here and there, just to keep in the character. Checker plate right the way through the seals. Uh, now, an interesting conversion on the back here. Um, this is actually a diesel. I'm going to come on to that in a second. But you can see it started life as a V8. Um, really good chassis on this, which is really important because that's often the area that let a good Land Rover down. I'm going to see if I can get any photos underneath there in a second. Um, but I'm just going to have a walk around so you can see the bodywork condition. Um, okay, might as well speak about the engine now, um, as on that end. This is a 200 um, TDI uh, Discovery engine. Uh, it's a sensible mileage when it was fitted, five-speed gearbox. So for those of you who know Land Rovers and know how uh, a Land Rover diesel from this era would drive compared to having the modern 200 TDI engine in, it's night and day's difference. This one's certainly powerful, goes really well. It's had its cam belt done, it had a water pump done at the time of, uh, of the cam belt, and basically it was just made to be as bomb proof as possible for the job. Uh, and the, uh, the tyre company, a very local to us in Hampshire, use this for servicing their agricultural customers. So, sort of go anywhere Land Rover was required, and as you can see, it really does look the part. Um, this car hasn't even been cleaned. I mean, it's not probably going to be bought for someone who wants to, to be posing. It's probably going to be bought by somebody who wants to maybe uh, work it. Obviously a tow bar, fully adjustable with electrics and a step on the back. And just while we're here, let's have a little look. You know, it's a really excellent chassis, which as I've said, is not sort of uh, always the way with these. Now, I've got to tell you, there is um, a bit of a strip out that's going to have to occur. This rather nice uh, generator, um, I'm sorry, compressor is going to be coming out. Um, as with the toolbox uh, and as with this hose. Um, but this half door arrangement is really handy and the way it's been set up is, is really good. Um, you've got a compartment underneath the storage. You can probably guess that by looking in the back. Um, it still retained a part of the sort of rear cab just to uh, shelve, uh, just just to give some shelter to the compressor. Um, no, it's it's uh, really purpose built, but of course you can do anything you like. You can put a full roof on it and make it into a safari. There's so much you can do with these these Land Rovers, but uh, you can see what this one looks like at the back. Uh, I've got to tell you that that flashing beacon will be coming out, uh, and so will those sort of uh, rear reverse lights, spotlights that are at the top. Uh, and the compressor toolbox um, but obviously it'll be left ready for you to do with whatever as you will. Um, I've spoken about the 200 TDI engine and gearbox, 5 speed, goes really well, it's got MOT through to I believe it's October 2017 and uh, she is in really good condition. Um, I'm hoping these walk around videos give you an idea. It's been well looked after. Now this has got wind up windows in it, um, which I think from a county, if I remember rightly, that is an Alpine stereo with some speakers up there. Um, various switches, switch gear throughout here, a bit of tape there all included. Um, 
there's your floor. These seats are much more comfy than the standard seats that you've got of the Land Rover from this era. There's your, there's your ply at the back. Uh, Discovery steering wheel uh, and Discovery seats. Um, well, to be fair, this is very functional. Um, and as I say, for a for the era, she is uh, very clean and tidy. I'm going to take some photographs, and I will take a photograph of the engine bay because people are going to ask for that. And there's the other end. And we've got a bit of a cabby box there, and uh, there's a whole bunch of old MOTs. Just wanted everyone to have a good look inside as well. Uh, checker plate on the floor, which is very practical. I think I mentioned the fact that uh, we've got a bit of checker plate on the top of the wings here, which is quite handy. Yeah. Well, hopefully this walk around video has given you an idea of her uh, appearance and condition. Uh, she is ready to go now. Don't hang around because uh, last time we had a similar Land Rover for sale. She was snapped up straight away. In fact, this one was only for sale for a very short time before the local guy bought it for a tyre company. I think I've told you he spent good money on the car. I think we've mentioned the suspension upgrade, the bigger wheels, the snorkel, a few steps here and there. So she's got a few extras. This ball bar on the front. She certainly looks the part and she drives. She drives lovely. In fact, probably the best thing about this, other than the fact she looks great, she does drive really well. Very lively en engine, always starts on the button. In fact, what I might do while I've got this film going, let's, uh, let's just turn the key. And as you can see straight away, very much on the button okay well please uh, get in touch through the usual channels to come and have a look at this Land Rover while we've got her um, thanks folks it's Danny over and out